I hate to say it, but looks like your power bill might be going up. Okay, so here's what you need to know. Nova Scotia Power just submitted a proposal to the Nova Scotia Utility Review Board. And in this proposal, they suggested a 9.9 .9 increase to your power bill. Their suggestion included a 3.3% increase to happen in August of 2022, another 3.3% increase to happen in January of 2023, and then another 3.3% increase in January of 2024. Now it's important to note that this hasn't been approved yet. So everything that we're talking about here is not set in stone nor do I know the process that's involved in submitting a proposal to the Nova Scotia Utility Review Board. But from what I've been told, it seems like there's a good to fair chance that that increase will be approved. There are a few things also included in the proposal that Nova Scotia Power put forward that aren't really making the headlines. One is a proposal for a storm rider fee. So basically Nova Scotia Power is saying that due to the increase of, of the weather that we're seeing, the higher winds, it's becoming very difficult for them to maintain the current infrastructure that they have in place. So what their suggestion is, is that they want to be able to add up to 2% onto your next year's bill, depending on how much effort they had to put into restoring your services due to storm surges. The proposal basically says that if you have an unplanned for uh, increase in the amount of storms that cause damage to the infrastructure that services your, your property, they want to be able to add a 2% increase into your next year's bill to pay for that. Again, not yet approved, but this is what they're going for. Another significant change that they're trying to go after is a change to how they compensate people that are on what we call net metering. So for people that don't know what net metering is, it basically means that your, if you are net neutral, your home produces enough electricity or enough power to completely power the house, meaning that you would have a zero dollar electrical bill. Now there are very few houses in Nova Scotia that are net neutral, and there are even fewer that are net positive, meaning that they produce more power than they're actually consuming. That number's starting to change now though with the growing popularity with solar. Now typically what would happen with a net positive home is that homeowner could sell that power back to the electrical grid, back to Nova Scotia Power, meaning they would get a credit on their bill every month. What Nova Scotia Power wants to do to implement a $8 per kilowatt per month system access fee. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a kilowatt expert. I'm not an expert in solar systems. I couldn't tell you what the average home that has solar produces in Nova Scotia. So I kind of had to trust a few sources that I found online. But one source that stuck out that you might've seen circulating was a tweet that Solar NS put out. And it basically said a home that generates $1,780 per year in power, which if you go by Nova Scotia's power statement, that's the average power bill per year. But a home that generates $1,760 per year in power would be responsible to pay something close to $900 in service access fees. So essentially what it means is that the cost savings for solar just got divided in half. I'm not saying that solar is not a great option. It may still be a good option for you, but just know that if this application or if this proposal does get approved, it will become less attractive. Now, people that currently have solar in their house or are on net metering, they'll be exempt. Uh, they will not be responsible to pay a system access fee. Uh, for at least 25 years. But anybody new getting added into net metering will be responsible to pay this system access fee. Again, that's if and only if this proposal is approved by the NS Utility and Review Board. I'm gonna end this video with one little complaint. Expenses are going up. Utilities are more expensive. Insurance is more expensive. Property taxes are more expensive. Yet landlords can't increase rent any more than 2% per year. From my perspective, I think it's really unfair that uh, homeowners have less protection than renters. There's currently no cap on increasing expenses on homeowners, but there is a cap on increasing rent on renters. Okay, so to summarize, if your current Nova Scotia power bill is somewhere around $1,800 a month, expect it to go up about $185 to $200 next year. 
It's not a huge increase, but it's an increase nonetheless. And my expectation is that there will be a lot more coming in the very near future. Now with the cost of everything going up, there is one surefire way to make sure that you save some money. And that is to subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the like button and check off the bell so that you get notified whenever I upload new videos. If you have any questions about this increase or if you just wanna pick my brain on anything else real estate related, make sure you click on the link in the description below. You can book a 30 minute long phone call with me with whatever time works best for you that I'm available. And I look forward to chatting with you about your 2022 real estate goals. As always, I hope you found this video informative. Uh, let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. If you think it's a good thing, are you upset about it? Is it just another expense that you're seeing coming through the pipe along with a, a lot of others? Are you not worried about it? Let me know in the comment section. I'd love to get your opinion of it. And until then, until the next video, peace and love.